All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today, what I got in store is me opening up this strange old Magic the Gathering demo game for two players from the Portal expansion. I've opened up some of these older demo games as well, but I haven't opened up this one. I think I've opened up one from Portal Second Age, and I think I've opened up one just from the starter set. These are always interesting to me just because I don't know much about them, and I don't know if you know much about them either, and I was just like opening up some interesting old Magic the Gathering products, so join me today as we dive in and see what it's all about. Anyway, it's kind of like the gold uh, foiling on the uh, edges of it. It says, uh, what is this? Portal rebate offer inside. So there's some sort of rebate. It says Magic the Gathering. Demo game for two players. Portal trading card game, not for resale. Maybe they gave these out in stores to get new players into the game. Something like that. Not really quite sure how you actually got this. I got this off of eBay. And so, yeah, someone actually did sell it. And you can see the portal expansion kind of symbols in the background. I got some like red mana, green mana, just some random text as well the blue mana symbol right there let's just see what it says in the back magic the gathering portal is produced by wizard of the coast this was made uh 1998 this demo game contains 24 cards from the magic the gathering portal trading card game a tip card and two instructional sheets everything two players need to play their first magic games all you need is a brain this demo game and a friend so you need a brain to play this game Interesting, there's some like little bumps on this pack right here. So anyways, let's just open this up and see what it's about. Pretty sure uh, I kind of know what to expect. Some just simple, simple starter cards and some instructions how to play the game. If we can open it up. Rah. Rah. This might be equivalent to like the welcome decks nowadays if they still give those out. If I can even open this up. Rah. Let's see. There we go. Take off the wrapper and let's just check out the information right here love the old lands as well beautiful lands so let's just see just some information right here small little sheets kind of tells you how to play a lightning magic sampler game kind of tells you about your turns this is a step-by-step -step, uh, review of a sample game look it over to see how the game plays when this example raises questions take a look at the rule sheet or the tip card. So this is kind of the game. It takes you from turn one all the way to turn five. Then after turn five, I think it uh, lets you go. Oh no, actually, it has you beat the game. So player one, player A wins, player B loses. So regardless, always pick player A because you'll always win. So it kind of tells you how to play the game. Simple instructions. So let's just check out the rules as well. See what it's about. Is there the rebate in here? Maybe not. The rule sheet summary of play. Each player begins by shuffling his or her deck of cards and drawing five of them. Bizarre. Only five. That's kind of confusing. They should make it seven because that's not how you play regular magic. Each turn you can play land from your hand, attack your opponent, and get more creatures on your side. Your lands stay in play so you have more and more each turn and lets you play bigger and bigger creatures until you finally defeat your opponent or are defeated. The very basics... You got land cards, creatures, colors. Uh, during the game, you need to control lands to get creatures on your side, and creatures of each color are linked to one type of land. The symbols and number of upper right corner of creature uh, cards tell you uh, what lands uh, you need to get a particular creature on your side. So there's probably only going to be creatures in these decks. It's only talking about creatures, so I don't think there's going to be spells or anything like that. I think it's a very simple game. Uh, yeah, so the player one gets deck A, player B gets deck B. Uh, it shows you the flow of the game. You got untap, draw, play a land, attack. Your opponent may intercept or block, damage your opponent, play creatures, end. Okay, so very simple. Kind of shows you a diagram of the card. Card name, card type, text box, cost card, art, offense, defense. And I did like how they had the sword and the shield for power and toughness. I wish they brought that back. Really great. Kind of shows you their sword for attacking and their shield for blocking. Really simple. Doesn't get easier than that, especially for new players. And just a whole bunch of information on the back as well intercepting attacking your opponent playing creatures and so on and so forth so let's just go ahead and check out the cards in the set so apparently it's player okay here are the tip cards so here is the decks you got two of the decks looks like a black and blue and a red and white got these tip cards right here here is the rebate receive two dollars back on a free or a free booster pack when you purchase Matthew Grinding portal set interesting so I'll send this in and get a rebate don't think that works anymore what to do in a turn. It's a tip card. You got openers, untap, uh, draw a card from your deck, play a land, you got combat, attack, and then play creatures. Yeah. Attacking, intercepting, just some simple tip cards to help you through your first games of magic. 
Uh, do you shuffle these? I don't think you shuffle these. I think you literally just take them and you just fight each other. So I think you draw five cards. This is one hand right here. And this is one hand right here. Interesting that they make you draw five cards just because there's so little uh, so little cards in these decks. They should have you draw seven because you're going to play the next game of Real Magic and only draw five. And then your opponent would be like, what are you doing? You draw seven. So yeah, just a very simple Magic the Gathering demo game. Let's just see how the game plays out. Turn one, uh, Devoted Hero. Is that, is that what's in here? Yeah, Devoted Hero. So turn one, you play Devoted Hero. You put one mana down. And then turn one for the blue deck, you play the Merfolk of the Pearl Trident. Classic Merfolk. Then uh, they attack each other. Uh, turn three, you play some sort of Minotaur Warrior. You play uh, your Goblin Died. Kind of tells you how to block. You play Stormcrow, classic Stormcrow. And uh, yeah, just kind of simple run through of the game. And turn five, uh, turn five, player A wins the game. Yeah, let's just kind of check out the cards of these little sets just to see what's in here. I don't really want to have to play out the game right now just because, uh, yeah. So right off the bat, you got a swamp, beautiful swamp. You got the portal set symbol in the corner by Ramos. Beautiful art. You got muckrats. Love these older borders. Love these older shield and uh, sword right here by Colin McNeil. Got muckrats, one black summon creature, and I love the line right here. And it, the different text is amazing. Like for this card right here, the flying is super like bold and, and, and then uh, the rest of the flavor text is like italicized, which is really great. Really lets you know what's like an ability and what's just flavor text. Three and a blue for this Snapping Drake. Cool art by Christopher Rush. Three, two. Got Feral Shadow coming at you. Two and a black. Flying in the moon. Love the art right here. Love the town. Got some light coming through the uh, windows. This crazy looking shadow creature covering up the moon. It's flying. Two, one. Not all shadows are cast by light. Some are cast by darkness. Creepy. Got myself an island right here. Got Cloud Pirates. One blue flying. Cloud Pirates can intercept only creatures with flying. It's a one, one. Flying creature, just a bunch of them flying the sky on their magic carpets and their weapons as well. One blue. Skeletal snake, just a skeleton creature. It's just a summon creature, doesn't tell you the type. Interesting, so I guess this is back when the creature type wasn't there. This is probably like summon creature pirate. This is probably summon creature skeleton snake, something like that. One in a black, it's a 2-1 creature. Cool. Beautiful art, by the way. Crazy, just skeleton of it by John Matson. Got Merfolk of the Pearl Trident, classic Merfolk. It's a 1-1 one, one creature. For one, one blue, standing guard with his trident. Stormcrow, a little bit of a weird print dot above the O right there. One and a blue. Flying, that's a one, two creature. Stormcrow, got the lightning in the background, running away from the storm. Beautiful island going on right here by Eric Peterson. Another beautiful swamp. Love, love the colors in the background. Another island. And then what is this, the next deck as well, I believe. So the first deck just literally has like five lands. <laughs> And just only creatures. There's only creatures. So this is very simple. It's only going to teach you combat in these starter sets. Nothing with spells, instant sorceries, anything like that. Literally just creatures with a couple abilities like flying. That's about it. No swamp walk, no forest walk, no nothing like that. Just very simple. Let's check out the next deck. Got myself a mountain. Beautiful mountain by Brian uh, Durfee. Regal Unicorn. Got the planetoids in the background. Two and a white. Just a summon unicorn. It's a 2-3 creature. Beautiful. Got the Hulking Goblin. Can't intercept. There's an ability. Can't block. One in a red. There's a battle going on in the background, but he's missing out the fun just because he can't block. It's a 2-2 two -two creature. Got an Armored Pegasus. One in a white. Flying. A lot of creatures with flying in the set, which is really cool. Great ability. By N. Andrew Robinson. It's a 1-2 creature. Just with flying. Beautiful colors in the background. Got the Bull Hippo. So I guess there is an Island Walk playing against a deck with islands in it. So great. Great. Uh, yeah. Great. Interesting that this creature has Island Walk, even though it's uh, green. No blue in its mana cost. But I guess hippos do, you know, swim. <laughs> so Island Walk is if defending player has any islands in play. So if your opponent has an island in play, Bull Hippo can't be blocked or intercepted. Islands uh, are in play regardless whether they're tapped or untapped. So if your opponent has an island, this guy can't be blocked. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3 and a green by Roger Raub. Literally just a hippo playing in the water. Got the forest, beautiful forest, lovely, lovely forest in the background. I feel like somewhere hidden in there, some sort of person. Maybe that's a person, or is that? Or maybe not. By John Avon, love his art. Got Minotaur Warrior, crazy looking reds in the background. It's got interesting, like, sort of weapons. Love the artist's signature down there. But Scott M. Fitcher, it's a 2-3. 
the herd's patience, the stampede's fury. Two and a red for a 2-3 summon Minotaur warrior creature. Got a devoted hero, one white for a 1-2 creature. Pretty great. It's a 1-2 for one white. How awesome is that? Summon creature with this pike standing up against the giant goblin in the background. You can see the weapon of the goblin. He's not giving up by Beatism. Beautiful island. Uh, plains. Whoops. <laughs> I think this is a reprint from Mirage or something like that. It could be wrong. Beautiful sky in the background. Lovely plains. Beautiful. Douglas Schulter. Goblin bully. What a bully he's saying. Come here. You can see in the background. He punched this guy in the face as well in some sort of tunnel. One in a red. It's a 2 1. It's easy to stand head and shoulders over these with no background. <laughs> Get the mountain again. Same mountain. And then the same plains as well. So interesting little decks. This one is uh, three mana. You got, uh, oh no, yeah, you got red, green, and white. And this one is uh, just black and blue. Interesting. And it's interesting that this one has island walk. So pretty much the main uh, thing is these are just creature heavy decks that just kind of get you through combat uh, damage, just battling each other. No instants, no sorcerers, no enchantments, no artifacts. The planeswalkers were not even a thing around here. You were the planeswalker in this game. So yeah, just very simple game uh, of Magic, very small little decks, demo game, they probably gave them out in store, something like that, I'm not really sure to new players, just to get uh, new players into the game, showing the battling with really fun art, really simple mechanics. The most intense mechanic is um, Island Walk probably, it's a little bit hard to understand for a new player, flying is uh, a little bit easier to understand because you can think visually like flying over the field or something like that and this one just can't intercept. Other than that, uh, those are about all the intense um, mechanics i guess cloud pirates can only only intercept uh creature with flying and then they later change intercept to block so we can only block flying creatures anyways very simple uh game that you can just get probably back in the day and just kind of get you into magic the gathering anyways a lot of fun opening up these products you never know what you're really going to get inside um i'm pretty sure these are all the same i don't think it, they're random at any at all i think they're literally all the same cards in every one of them but i could be wrong let me know if you've ever opened up one of these. Let me know where you used to get them back in the day. I'm just guessing stores gave them out to new players to kind of get them into the game. Really great information. Very simple. Just literally creature-based combat, and that's all. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. Hope you like me opening up these interesting older Magic the Link products. And yeah, thanks for stopping by. Hope you're all doing wonderful, and I'll catch you all on the next one.